Hi Aries, this is your reading for September 2019, your love reading. Let's see what's going on for you in regards to love. Aries love reading for September 2019, alright? Let's see what's going on. What's going on for Aries? What's the energy for Aries? 2019, September 2019. Self-employment. Okay. This is what's going on with you in love, joining in. Some of you may be joining online, uh, match.com, you may be dating online, or you may be actually going to groups where you're joining in uh, physically with other people. This is also a good opportunity to meet someone or, or joining groups at work. Or, or school I'm hearing okay Aries leaving this is uh what's going on with you what's going on with the person that you came to the reading for what's going on with the person that Aries is coming to the reading for self-care this person is needing to think about themselves analyze how they feel about a particular situation relationship yeah healing from the past and they're changing their mind changing your mind okay let's see what's going on here So Aries needs to be concerned about self-employment joining in and leaving a particular situation your person is needs to be concerned about themselves healing from the past and how their mind is changing let's see what this is about what can you tell Aries in regards to self-employment joining in and leaving King of Swords in reverse there might be an element of you're not being honest with yourself honest with others honest with yourself there might be some tyrannical energy surrounding you maybe that's why you're leaving a particular situation maybe with um, someone you were in a relationship with there might be a boss or someone over you or someone in authority who is abusing authority here okay There's someone who is doing a lot of mental exercise and not marrying the two. See, the King of Swords upright. He has the spirituality and the mental. That's what makes him or, sh or her a really good decision maker. But in the reverse, he's leaning too far to, to one side, either emotional or mental. Not seeing the middle of the road which would help them make better decisions or the best decision aries love seven of cups yeah emotional confusion here or illusion disillusionment getting stuck in the fantasy and the dream of and not actually doing the work six of pentacles in reverse not actually making choices to move forward Put energy, effort, time behind something. You can't see where you belong on your path, your sense of usefulness. Your judgment, your emotions are clouded. Maybe this is why love is stagnated for you. Something, there's a hold up here. There is lack of manifestation here because Aries may be clouded or someone you're dealing with. Yeah, lack of motivation and or hap happiness, health and wealth. Only because you can't see where you're supposed to be or you're not.
sticking to it. You're not making a choice to be there. It may be something that involves self-employment. Strength card in reverse. Yeah, you're not staying true to your own convictions, knowing that it's going to land you on that path of righteousness, the right path, whatever you're choosing for yourself. You're not being strong in your convictions, Aries. You may be you may be feeling stuck and or tied to once again mental mentally not seeing a way out of into happiness you feel like you are stuck like you things are not coming together for you there is a false sense of happiness within your family dynamic or you feel like you'll never get to the highest level of happiness because what is Aries partner the person I come into this reading for them, what is their energy all right ten of wands in reverse six of wands Okay, Aries, sorry about that. I got a phone call. Uh, so your person is the Ten of Wands in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse. Definitely some masculine energy. Um, they're not releasing. They're not allowing an ending to happen. They also could be speaking about a secret. But at the same time, your person got self-care because they need to make the choice that's best for them. And they're not doing that with the six of wands in reverse. They're continuously carrying the burden. Your person needs to release the burden. The burden may be reputation. Something about their reputation. Fame and fortune. Long-term goals. Having being disturbed if they choose something or someone else. Queen of Pentacles, there might be someone overly concerned with money, someone who's a spender but doesn't make money. Someone who is concerned with reputation and their reputation is directly directly correlated to the amount of money that they have. Two of Swords in reverse. Once again, your person could be they were of two minds about a situation. Maybe with a Libra or a Libra plays a part somewhere here or, or bringing down justice for themselves. Making a decision but they're not they have, they're choosing to carry the burden. Or the secret's already out of the bag. Yeah. Ten of pencils, but they're choosing to stay in obligation due to the fact that there may be a lot of money, material possessions, long-term investments tied to a connection. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So they're choosing to stay within a connection, not choosing to separate and come to a, a higher level of maturity for themselves once again not choosing themselves they need to enact some self care here could be 
Cancer man, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, you are dealing with. Definitely a married man. <clears throat> this is a father. This is someone who may just be, you know, they may be really saying they're going to live up to their obligation and their duties, even though the relationship is um, upside down. The foundation is there no longer. There is no stability. But they're obligated to something or someone. There is no risk taken. There is no separation and or divorce. Maybe this is what they're changing their mind about. Ace of Pentacles. What is the Ace of Pentacles? Once again, they may be saying that they may be staying in a situation for the children. Trying to create something stable for children or child. Uh, they may say that something is not over. It's not the right time for them. They have not. The children have not come to a certain age. They're off balance also. Um. They may be hypersexual, in which it makes it's a release for them. A release for them that they're not living in their truth. You know, it helps them to get away from the fact that they aren't living in their truth and they aren't choosing them themselves. They may be saying to you what what they can give. It's small. It's it's simple. They may even come to you and say, you know, if you can't accept it, we might have to cut things short. Success for you, Aries. Abundance. Looks like even the assertive. Yeah. Even in. One more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Got a yes answer. So we'll clarify the yes answer. Even with this person changing their mind, possibly about um, where they stand with you. They said they were leaving. They said they were doing this. It's, but now they've, they've changed their mind. They're going to stick it out with a person or in a situation that is not good for them. You're still going to have abundance and success. And you need to be assertive in regards to what you will accept and won't accept. In the near future, they have a timeline. Wow, all these cards flipped out for me. That's way too many. My gosh. Hang on. They have a no answer. You have a yes. Communicate clearly. Wait. What rests between you two is big, happy changes. Okay. Uh, what's the best course of advice? Well, what's this yes answer? Yes answer. It's the yes answer. You will, you will have victory. You will be married. 
a wealthy partnership for you or someone in your social circle social circle <laughs> uh, dreams fruition dreams come into fruition especially with the big happy changes here uh, what you've hoped for what what marries you on a soul level the art Archangel Michael bringing something or bringing two people together. This is directly connected to water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, the King of Cups. So that's good. Um, what's the best course of advice? Best advice. Best advice. Wow. This just says release release and stay true to your convictions if you know that you're not the strength card talks about sex and intimacy merging talks about mystery talks about yeah mystery of another person's finances all of those things mystery that they created around themselves stay true to your convictions Stop carrying this burden. Choose yourself. Say, I, myself, will not carry this secret relationship, this burden. I'm going to stay true to what it is I believe is best for me. I'm staying convicted. The best course of advice for the person that Aries came to the reading for. Seven of Swords. They need to release burden. Loss of burden to carry. Loss of friendship. Maybe it's a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, wow. Your person is very clear for your person. They need to stop hesitating before making decision. They need to allow an ending. Stop hesitating. Make the decision. Stop crying over the spilled milk. Move on. Look, there's something better behind you. That's the advice for your person. To be dealing with a Libra. They need to do what is fair and just in this situation. What is karmically. Be fair. They need good advice here also. Or they need to take good advice. They need to um, release burden. They feel like they need to stay in something because they feel like there's a debt there's guilt a debt needing to be repaid in regards to maybe a third party situation in regards to them feeling like they want to walk away from a connection they need rest and recuperation they need to ask their angels they need to pray before making a decision Okay. I hope that this reading resonated with you, Aries. I hope that you took something from it. I know it's very specific to those of you who may be dealing with someone who is partnered, married, in a situation. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. Many blessings to you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. All links are below. Okay. Take care, guys.